This is Brandon with Fleet Feet, and today I'm going to be giving you my full review of one of my favorite Tempo Day shoes, the Saucony Endorphin Speed 4. The Saucony Endorphin Speed is now on its fourth series. I've run in the second, the third, and now the fourth model, and I'm happy to report that not only did I love the second, but I love the third, and I've loved the fourth model, and I love everything that Saucony has done with the Endorphin series, especially with the Speed and the Pro. This is the Speed though, which is mainly used for tempo days and race day. Some of the new things that Saucony has done this year is added a new mesh upper to the shoe, changed a few things in the midsole geometry, especially with a new nylon plate. Their biggest update to this shoe, which I'll get to, is their new SRS sock liner. Starting with the upper, it is a zonal mesh upper. The tongue is gusseted in as well, so you get that great midfoot lockdown on stride. The shoe is quite breathable. It is airy. It is light. I had no issues with locking down my stride in this shoe. The upper is on the narrower side, but I found that the heel and midfoot lockdown were great, and I had enough toe splay in the toe box to stay comfortable throughout my run. When going through my stride, picking up the pace or cornering, I found no issues with lockdown or lacing. Saucony made a pretty standard upper here and absolutely love it. Honestly, I love the design. I like the clean white look. I love this colorway that they have going on. I think the Speed 4 paint job and look and feel is way better than that of the second and third models. Not that they were bad, it just didn't really hit me the same way. I love this racing stripe feel. It just speaks to fast. I love those minimal overlays that they've got going on to just add a little bit of extra protection and reinforcement on the shoe. I found that when I was going through my stride and I was running, those things just really help keep the upper together and locked in place. So I really appreciated that. Moving down to the midsole, this is where all the magic happens. Starting with the first model, all the way to the fourth model. Saucony have stuck with their tried and true Power Run PB foam, which is one of my favorite foams. It's a PIBA based foam. I, I enjoy the ride. I find that it's very snappy. It's very fast underfoot. One of the biggest changes from the third model to the fourth model is that I think this shoe is just a little bit more aggressive on foot. So you're gonna get an even faster and speedier feel than you are used to in the third model. I think that this is due not just to the Power Run PB midsole in this shoe, but also the nylon winged plate in it. This new nylon winged plate in the shoe just adds a little bit more rigidity, creates that stability in the shoe, and just adds that pop and propulsion that you're looking for. One of our reviewers, Mandy, said that this shoe is just very fast in turnover. Another one of our reviewers, Heather, said that the shoe just has a lot of pop and bounce underfoot. I agree with both of them. I think that the shoe has a very fast turnover, and I definitely agree that it has that nice pop sensation that you're looking for. So overall, I really love the midsole ride of this shoe. While this shoe is very poppy and fast and has a ton of turnover to it, it is also very soft and comfortable and plush underfoot. And that is all due to this sock liner inside of the shoe, which is called the seriously responsive sock liner. So here it is. This is the sock liner of the shoe. As you can tell, it's just adding that little bit of extra padding underfoot when you're kind of stepping through your stride. It is actually really nice and comfortable underfoot. It has such a funny name. It's kind of dorky, to be honest. SRS, super responsive sock liner is kind of a dorky name, but I kind of love it too all at the same time. I don't know why. But overall, this footbed here really does add just a little bit of extra protection and there's that little bit of extra support and comfort underfoot that you need, especially when, when you're going through your step and feel. So I'm really enjoying this integration to the shoe. Traditionally, the Endorphin Speed is a shoe that I use for a lot of my workouts. And I find that this is really the shoe that I turn to because it's the safest option. Year after year, I know that Saucony isn't going to let me down with this shoe. And when I lace it up, it's always going to do the job. It's better in the fourth model in all of the right ways. Moving down to the outsole of this shoe, it does have, again, a nice rubber coverage here. It does have this like lattice outsole that they've got going on. It is a rubber outsole. I had no issues with traction, no issues with cornering or grip on the bottom of my shoes. I mainly ran on the roads with this shoe. So in terms of durability and traction, I would stick to the roads. It worked really well for that. So you're gonna have no issues there. If you love the Saucony Endorphin Speed Series and you know that you'll be getting the fourth model, I would recommend that you also get the Pro 4 as the race day companion to that shoe. Not only are they similar in likeness, but in feel and pop and 
I just find that both of these shoes really pair well together. So if you're looking for that tempo day option, then I would absolutely go with the Speed 4. But if you're looking for that race day option, then go with the Pro 4. But overall, the sensation in both these shoes will feel quite similar because of the geometry and makeup of both the shoes. The Saucony Endorphin Speed 4 comes in around an eight millimeter drop with 36 millimeters in the heel and 28 millimeters in the toe. An eight millimeter drop is a little bit more on the aggressive side for a tempo day shoe, but I found that I had no issues in that. I also found that the 36 millimeters in the heel and the 28 millimeters in the toe balance perfectly for my stride. So I had no issues with stack. I like a higher stack option. So if you do too, then this will be a great pick for you. The shoe also shines with weight. The men's model comes in at 8.2 ounces for 233 grams and the women's model at 7.2 ounces or 206 grams. This is a very light tempo day option. Honestly, the shoe kind of practically disappeared underfoot. It's very light, it's very feathery. It's currently my favorite tempo day shoe of 2024 so far. If I'm going for a tempo run or a workout or a speed day option, this is absolutely the shoe that I'm picking right now. This shoe also comes in around $170. $170 may seem like a lot of money, but for a shoe like this, especially if it might be one of your best tempo day shoes of 2024, I think it's absolutely worth every penny. The Saucony Endorphin Speed 4 definitely gets the win in my book. It gets the green check mark. Overall, I'm going to keep running in this shoe even after this review. I'm gonna keep putting in some miles in it and hopefully I can report back even after 100 or 200 miles and talk a little bit more about my experiences in this shoe because I think this one is gonna be a winner that you're gonna keep wanting to look out for. If you want to learn more about the Saucony Endorphin Speed 4, I would urge you to go onto the website at fleetfeet.com where you can actually see a comparison review of the Speed 4 versus the Pro 4, and we break down the differences between the two, the similarities, and everything in between. So I would absolutely urge you to go on the website, go check that out, read the review, and see for yourself whether this shoe works best. And as always, make sure to give this video a like and make sure to comment below how you feel about the Saucony Endorphin Speed 4. Do you like the changes from the third to the fourth model? Are you a fan of the Endorphin Speed series in general? I'd love to hear your opinions on that. If there are other shoes that you want me to review, please let me know that as well. As always, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Instagram, on Strava, on TikTok, on Facebook, on all of the social media accounts, and stay tuned for when the next video comes out.